Students, welcome to session 2 of sorting of materials into groups. Now students, why do we need to sort materials into groups? Students, as we know that we use several objects in our day-to-day -day lives. There are objects which are made of different or various materials. An object can be made from different materials. Different objects can be made from the same material as well as an object can be made using more than one material. So we need to sort these materials. So placing or sorting similar things together is called grouping. Uh, the best example of grouping is we, we can see it in a supermarket. Grouping is done in a supermarket by keeping similar items on the same shelf which makes it easier for us to find the items or the things we need. Just think, if these things are not grouped then there are chances that you will never find your favorite things there. So, this process of grouping things on the basis of some similarities and dissimilarities is called classification. And that is why we need to classify these materials, these things into various categories. So now, I welcome you to Learn This Planet and in today's session, first we will learn about states of matter. So, so students, what is meant by matter? Yes, matter is anything that occupies space and has a definite mass. It includes all the materials found in the universe. So most probably these materials are found in the universe. And matter is anything that occupies space and has definite mass. So on the basis of this, we can say that all substances are made up of matter. Right? So how many states of matter exist in nature? Let us see. Yes. States of matter. Matter can exist in three states. And these are solid state, liquid state and gaseous state. An example of solid state is ice. An example of liquid state is water. And an example of gaseous state is steam or water vapor. So ice is considered as solid, water as liquid and steam as a gas. So these are three states of matter and ice, water and steam are three states of water. Water can exist in three states and they are interconvertible also. They are interconvertible. Now what does this term mean? Yes, interconvertible means they can change from solid state to liquid state. Then it can change from liquid state to gaseous state. From gaseous to solid. Or the reverse cycle. Solid to gaseous, gaseous to liquid or liquid to solid. So we can say that water when freezed or if we keep it a very cold temperature 
then it will convert into iron and if we boil it it will evaporate and it will form steam so this is the basic change even ice kept at room temperature will convert into water now this water is boiled it will convert into steam now see the reverse cycle if we capture all the steam in a vessel then after some time we can see that it has condensed and it forms water and water if freezed it will convert into ice so we can say that solid liquid and gaseous states they are interconvertible interchangeable so this is about states of matter now let us study about each of these states in detail so the different states of matter are solids liquids and gases what happens in solids yes in solids the particles are very closely packed they have a definite shape and volume they cannot be compressed so these are the characteristics of solids for example the sofa set or a steamer or a ship their particles are very closely packed and they have definite shape and volume so what we can say about the particles which are present in solid state yes the particles present in the solid state have no space in them they have no space even to vibrate somewhat or to some distance they are so very close to the fact that they cannot move and that is why we can say that it is very difficult to compress or rather they cannot be compressed so this is about solids now let us discuss about liquids yes the particles are very close or we can say rather they are close but have a little space between them not like solids even they have a definite volume but no definite shape they take the shape of the container they are poured in in solid it is not like that they have definite volume and definite shape but in liquids liquids have a definite volume but no definite shape because they will take the shape of the container they are poured in now let us say that uh, we take water the best example is water if we take water and if we pour it into a bowl then it will take the shape of the bowl if we pour it into a glass then it will take the shape of the glass so whatever container we take and we pour in the liquid it will take the shape of that container so we can say that liquids take the shape of the container they are poured in so we can say that they can only be compressed but to a small extent in solids they cannot be compressed at all but in liquids they can be compressed to a small extent so this is about liquids liquids like oil juice then water milk these all are examples of liquids yes the third state of matter is gases they are gases particles are far from each other having large spaces between them now in comparison to other states of matter the particles of gases 
or the particles of gas are very far from each other having large spaces between them. They do not have a definite shape or volume. And so we can say that they are highly compressible because they take all the space available. Whether it is container, whether it is a closed vessel or whether it is something in which we can compress. So they are highly compressible. For example, the gas cylinder which is kept in the kitchen, which is used to cook food, right? So what is there in the gas cylinder? There is gas in the cylinder. It is highly compressible. Now how do we know that if gas is leaking, how we will come to know? Because gas is odorless and it is colorless. We cannot see it, we cannot smell it. But in LPG, liquefied petroleum gas, which is used in every home, in every kitchen, which helps to use, uh, which is used to help to cook food. There, there is one substance, mercaptan. That mercaptan is not an odorless gas. And so, if the gas leaks, we come to know that our gas is leaking. Leaking. Right? So, there are gases which are present or which are compressed in that LPG or cylinder, the gas cylinder. So we can say that these are the characteristics or these are the following characteristics of gases. They are, the particles are very loosely packed, they do not have definite shape or volume and they are highly compressible. For example, ball any sports ball and balloon.